Hey guys, I'm back with the mazes again because I wanted to elaborate a bit more on the mobile version of Horse while navigating the mazes. I touched on this a little bit in that last video, but I wanted to cover it some more because in case you're still a little bit confused maybe on how to navigate the maze with this first person view, or if you're on a touch screen device and you're having issues at navigating the mazes, I wanted to show you how the mobile version works with the mazes because I really think that the mobile version is quite much better suited to navigating the mazes on your mobile device. That's just how it's, you know, it's designed to be more suitable for a touch screen. And if you are having problems navigating the mazes on your computer or with the classic version, you can still access the mobile version on your computer if you don't want to use your smartphone or a mobile device or if you just don't have one of those. Now to start off, how you actually access the mobile version of Horse on a computer is that you can either go to m.horse.com Com, or because for me, for some reason that doesn't work, it just automatically defaults to the classic version no matter how I type that in. What I do is that I will go to Google I'll type in mobile horse and then I'll look for the link that has the mobile link to horse, which is this one right here. It's the m.horse.com. Like I said, for some reason, when I type that into my search bar, it will just automatically default to classic version. But when I click on this link via Google, it will go straight to the mobile version login page. So this is what you'll see then up in the top right corner. If you can't see it on my screen because it is cut off, but it will have the flag that indicates the server that this will be on. Should you you log into it. So if your server is not international, because this is what that link defaults to, to the international server, you're going to click on it and then click the flag that indicates the server that you want to log into. Because I've already been server hopping quite a bit today, uh, the one I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the AU server, because I have not done the tutorial yet on that server and I still have moves that I can actually do this demonstration with. So I'm going to log into that. I'm in there. I've already got pulled up over here, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do first is show you the tutorial maze with this very enlarged browser window and then I will show you part of the first maze in this little small window I have here. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because this smaller window is more formatted to how it would look on a smaller device like a phone. So it just kind of it makes everything a bit smaller and more manageable because if you look everything gets kind of weird and enlarged and get a it gets a little bit wacky when you move the window around just because it's probably designed to be on a smaller device. So I'm going to show you on the enlarged window just because it's kind of easier to see and then I'll show you part of the maze on that smaller window. Let's go ahead. We're going to get started if I can scroll through here. It's scrolling through is a bit hard on a computer, a mouse. What you have to do is click it and then just drag it over, but it is possible to do. So play now. This is a tutorial maze. So we're gonna click that door. I get four paces per hour with this horse. I literally just bought this horse so I could do this with. I guess I didn't need to because I'm not waiting for my paces to regenerate, but oh well. Now, this is what the mazes look like on the mobile version. You're not seeing that first person view on as you do on the desktop version. This is just more like the mini map view. This is your arrow. You're going to disregard which direction the arrow points on this map. Just think of this arrow as a game piece. If you want to move left, you're literally going to say, pick this piece up, move it to the left. If you want to move it to the right, you're literally going to pick it up, move it to the right. And that's what these arrows over here represent. If you want to move this this arrow bubble game piece thing to the left, you're literally just going to click the left arrow. If you want to move this game piece up, move it forward one square, you're literally going to click the up arrow. I think it's probably more or less the same as to when we had the above view of the mazes in the previous maze events. It's much more simplified this way. So if you're having issues maybe navigating the mazes on the classic version, you can log into this mobile version and do it this way. Or if you're on a mobile device trying to use a classic version, I recommend that you use the mobile version on your mobile device. We want to move to the left. We're just going to literally move to the left. We want to move up we're going to click the up arrow. And if you notice, the up arrow is the one highlighted because the you can't move to the left at all anyway. This is just no space over here. You can't move here. And to the right, we just came from that direction. So that's not really recommended to go that way. And the down arrow is also not highlighted because you can't go down either. We're going to click up. We're literally going to move up. Move up again. Now we're going to move to the right so we can get that gift. And then we are going to click that. We're going to move up, 
I suppose the only annoying thing with the mobile version is how everything kind of, uh, it seems to reload whenever there's a pop-up. It's not like it's on the computer where it will just give you a pop-up. A pop-up just appears when you're on the computer. It just doesn't do that on the mobile version, just I guess the way the programming works. So we're going to move to the right because we want to go to the right. Here is our obstacle that we're going to go through. So we're going to get through that. Okay, just click off of that. Go to the right. Now we're going to go down. So we're going to click down. We want to go to the left. We're going to click the left arrow. So hopefully this is kind of showing this is a bit easier to get through. I do find this is easier than the classic version, but I don't really have a problem navigating on the classic version. So I'm just going to keep going with that. And I find that probably if you try and switch back and forth between the classic version and this mobile version, you might confuse yourself, which is why I'm going to try not to do that. Because when I tried going back and forth earlier, just uh, thinking of how to do this for an example, I was kind of confusing myself. We're going to go to the right. Now we're going to go up. All right, we're going to exit the maze. We're going to go to the right. There we go. We exited. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate this first maze because I can get through quite a bit of this first maze. I'm going to show you the first maze in my little small view because I think it's a little bit easier to see. Play now. Okay, so because I have my window, I'm going to enlarge that just a bit. I have my window quite minimized. This looks how it does on my phone because obviously my phone is quite smaller. This might be easier to play this way just because the arrows are like directly underneath the map. I don't know. I guess it just depends on how you want this laid out for yourself. But we're going to go to the right. So we're going to click the right arrow. Thank you. We're going to go keep going to the right because we have to keep going forwards. All right, I want that treat, so we're gonna go to the right. Yay, we got treats. Okay, so we're gonna go to the left, because we have to go backwards. Now we have to go up, so we're gonna click the up arrow. Now we're gonna hit left. I think what I do like about the mobile version in this case is that if you notice, I just landed on those binoculars, so it enlarged more of the map for me. It gave me more view. On the classic version when it does this, and this has always been kind of one of the things I didn't didn't like about the binoculars when you landed on them, is that the little mini map pops up to show you that the binoculars have enlarged your view of the map. That always drives me nuts because you have to like sit there after you land on the binoculars, wait until the mini map pops up, and then you can close out the map and keep going. I wish it wouldn't do that. But it does not do that on here, so that's quite nice. All right, so we're going to get an obstacle to go through. We're going to click up. We have, I noticed this riddle. So I've done this on like three or four servers so far, and the riddles are not the same in the same spot. It was a riddle in this spot, but the actual riddle itself is not the same. What do you put on a horse's feet? you put on shoes. So I think on the test server I actually got that particular riddle on the fourth maze, I believe. So we're going to go up, we're going to go to the right. Now I do want to go to this treat square, which is down for my game piece. So we're going to click the down arrow and we go down. Now we're going to go to the right so I can get those binoculars. I don't really care. I'm just going to keep going straight. It doesn't really matter. I didn't really feel like pulling up the maps for this. And I did link the maps to a website that another player has um, in the description for my last video. So if you want like actual maps for the mazes, I linked those in my last video. So we're gonna go to the right. Okay, now we wanna go down to get this gift here. I've got a lot of gifts. Go to the right, go to the right. We're gonna go up, we're going to get this gift. 5,000 aquas. Also, if you guys are wondering, like, let's say you want to know what this gift is and you go and ask in the forums, hey guys, uh, does anybody know what that gold gift is that's on, what is that, I-5? Um, I have noticed that even though, like, the gifts are in the same location and, like, the actual rarity is the same, the actual prize it contains is not the same. Like, this gift here was, I think, would it show 5,000 equus? I don't think I got 5,000 equus there. I got some other, I got some other gift on the other servers that I was playing with. So just because, like, I got 5,000 equus here doesn't mean you'll get 5,000 equus here. So just be aware of that when you do ask. Um, when you do ask somebody like, hey, would you get on square I-5 or whatever, you might not have the same gift. And that's always been the case like for the last at least like four mazes that I can think of. So that, that hasn't changed at all. Okay, so I'm out of paces. I'm out of treats. That's it. But hopefully that, you know, kind of demonstrated a bit better, like how the mobile version works, if you weren't quite sure how that worked. Um, if you don't like this minimized view, 
all you have to do is just play around with the size of your window. If you want like this enlarged view that I showed right here in the first example, just drag your window over. You can make it bigger or of course you can drag it down. I don't want to drag it down just because this is how I have my screen cropped when I'm recording. But if you, I do kind of like it when these arrows are directly underneath the map. So I would just make it smaller. So if you want those, when, if you want these arrows underneath your map, make it smaller. If you don't care, maybe you want the arrows off to the side just so you can see everything better. You can just make the window larger like this. So hopefully this was a bit more helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about how to access the mobile version or how the mobile version works for the mazes, you know, don't be afraid to ask and hopefully I can help you out with that as well. But uh, thank you again for joining me today, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.